Hello everyone, watch this review here with some quick uh, Summer Wonder Festival 2013 thoughts and news. Very quick in fact, considering there wasn't a ton that, you know, so much interested me. Uh, the biggest news, of course, and I'm sure you've, most of you have heard this, uh, is that Indiana Jones will be getting a Figma. Uh, it's sort of unexpected, uh, at this point we're not sure what version of Indiana Jones will be produced in Figma form. I mean, it might be one of the ones from the classic films. It might be the one where he hides in the fridge to avoid a nuclear blast. I mean, who knows? I mean, frankly, I think I would prefer a older version. Also, in general, I think I might have preferred an SH Figure Arts of him. You know, because I think that SH Figure Arts is doing it a bit better in terms of articulation and so forth, which is strange because for a good many years I was really into the Figma line, and then, you know, the SH Figure Arts line sort of been supplanting those feelings, but. Yeah, it's uh, pretty huge news. Um, other pretty epic news is that uh, Three Zero will be doing some Zoids figures. Uh, they had a painted prototype for the Shield Liger on display, as well as a unpainted Iron Kong. Uh, both of which, I know the Shield Liger is mostly from Chaotic Century. I, the Iron Kong, I know, appeared in both versions of the show. Sort of the generic enemy in the main one. Then um. For Zoids, uh, what was the one of the tournament? Was that New Century or something? I can't remember. But he was used by a bunch of the other groups as just a normal, like, antagonist thing where a bunch of the enemies would pilot him, but not as so much as villains. At any rate, the Shield Liger looks fantastic, but, you know, these things are crazy expensive. I think they're around 300 bucks each or something. I know it's definitely somewhere over 200 that's typically what 3A and 3Zero's designs go for. But um, both of them will sort of be in scale with each other in that the Iron Kong is almost twice the height of the Shield Liger, which is pretty neat. So, I mean, if you wanted to buy a whole bunch and, I don't know, simulate a battle, if you had a few thousand dollars lying around, you know, that would kind of work. Not that I would necessarily encourage doing that because that's incredibly wasteful. Uh, otherwise, Figma Archer was on display again. I mean, they first showed him off in like 2010 or 2011, so I'm not sure if they are actually going to release him like ever or if they just want to keep putting him out there to torture us, but yeah. In uh, other news, I'm not sure like how many of you guys are following the Sailor Moon stuff. I already have like the first few on pre order, but uh, at there they revealed that they'll be doing some. Figure Arts Zeros for the Sailor Moon figures. They also revealed a painted ray, and they have the unpainted Sailor Venus. Let me try to pull one of those up. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Again, you know, it's something that may not appeal to the usual batch of collectors who are sort of viewing my channel, but. You know, it's something I kind of care about, so. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot of stuff that interests me. Uh, they are, they had a teaser up for a Nendroid Gilgamesh from uh, the Fate Stay Night series, which will be kind of neat to see, but at this point, I hate to admit it, but I really prefer the Kotobukiya's Kupoche line, so just because those are more articulate, I think they're actually a bit cuter and so forth, but, you know, whatever. And, of course, they had the uh, Figma Day of the Dead, sorry, Dawn of the Dead one out there. I think that's the zombie version of that uh, one pilot. I recently ended up going back and watching Dawn of the Dead again, so, you know. At any rate, those were some just really quick thoughts. Uh, not a whole lot of content for this video, but, you know, there are some sort of exciting things on the horizon that you know, weren't revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, so that's always cool. Uh, until next time, folks.